Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you how to mine Siricoin, which I introduced in the previous video if you haven't watched it already, on an AVR board. And by AVR board, I mean Arduino boards or any sort of Arduino clone or compatible board that uses the 80 mega chip. And this tutorial will work for Arduino Unos, Megas, Nanos, Minis, Micros, etc. Um, and I will do a separate tutorial on how to mine a, uh, a serial point on ESP8266 boards and ESP32 boards. So I'm going to be using version 2.1 of the AVR miner and this is a public beta version. It isn't officially released yet, but you can find the link to download this miner in the description box below. And if you run into any problems or encounter any issues along the way, please report it to the developers. They will take the issue and improve upon the, uh, the miner. So this is the GitHub repository for the miner. I'm going to show you how to mine AVR um, Siricoin on an AVR board on Windows specifically. There is one for Linux, I will cover that in a separate video. So what I first did was plug my AVR board, I'm using an Arduino Uno compatible board, into my computer with a USB cable of course. Um, download this zip file, as you can see this for Windows, and once that is downloaded, which is over here, I, I unzipped it, extracted it, and this is the file. So we can just open this, and there are many uh, folders and documents here. So firstly, please read this uh, txt file. Um, as you can see, it shows you which code to use for what board you have. So for example, if you have the Uno, Nano, Micro, Mini, then you want to upload the code in the AVR code folder. But if you have an ESP board or an Arduino Mega, you want to upload the Arduino code in the AVR code optimized folder. So there are two different codes, and the main reason for that is it says right here, but it basically is because of the memory required. The bigger boards such as ESP boards and the Arduino Mega, they have more bytes of memory, which lets you um, upload more code and that allows you to have a higher hash rate, just a bit more than the Arduino Uno, um, which have which has less than 4,000 uh, bytes of memory um, for uploading code. So with that said, make sure you read this file as well as, um, and actually that should be it. So the AVR hash rates folder, it has some screenshots of hash rates. So we've been using the Arduino Uno today. So the Developers have has included a folder of what the command form will look like once it starts mining. And as you can see, the expected hash rate will be 30 hashes per second. And I will run the program and see if that is true. So with that said, after you look at that, if you have an Arduino Uno, like what I have right now, you want to open this folder, the AVR code folder, click on Civil Miner, open up the uh, Arduino code, and like any other Arduino code, you simply want to just upload it to uh, your your board. So we'll get this open real soon. And uh, it, it, it's an extremely simple process as uh, I've, I've mentioned in the past and um, it, it won't be the same throughout. So this is how the code is like. You don't need to change anything. Just make sure you select the right board, the right port, and you can directly upload it. And, you should not have any issues with this at all. So with that said, um, you will want to use the AVR code optimized, the optimized version for, of course, the Arduino Mega and ESP boards, as I've mentioned. There is also an ESP pool mining beta version, which I will cover in a future video. But um, for now, pools are not released yet, so you will be solo mining, and hopefully, who knows, you may find a block which and which will give you 50 Siri um, if, if you manage to get the block. So with that said, you can open up the SiriCoin AVR Miner program, the application file. And I have already ran the uh, code, so I've made sure that my firewall allows it, but you may have some problems with Windows Defender or any uh, anti-virus software, so make sure you allow this to run. And if, you, if you're running it for the first time, it will ask you to um, insert your uh, your wallet address as well as the COM port for the Arduino board. And you, 
by the way, you can use multiple Arduino boards. But I've already set this up before and I'm using the board on COM8. So I, I've already set it up and after that it gets directly into mining. So after a while, um, it gives you some information here about um, the last block the, and the target block. You click enter after a while and the hash rate of your Arduino board will start uh, displaying over here. But it looks like everything is fine. Um, Discord RPC, and uh, yep, in, in a few seconds it should start mining. So I'll just wait for a while for that. And as you can see, this is the config folder over here. Um, and if we look at this, this is the name I assigned. So when you start up the AVR miner, it will also ask for you to give the, the board a name, which I just call board one. And this is the configuration settings. As you can see, this is my wallet address and the port. And when you add more board, uh, when you add more boards, you can just um, keep on listing the ports with a comma in between. So with that said, it looks like it has started mining, um, and we are mining at 30 hashes per second, which is the expected hash rate. So right now, we'll just continue mining, and as you can see, the LED on my board is flashing, and with that said, you are solo mining right now, so you will only get paid in Siri. You will only see a difference once you hit a block, which you can find on the Block Explorer, which I will cover in another video. Um, so you, essentially, it is just a waiting time, waiting game. And if you have any leftover Arduino boards which you aren't using, feel free to just plug them in and start mining, and maybe you will uh, hit a block and get a payment of 50 Siri. So that's about it. Um, it's extremely simple to get started mining Siricoin or solo mining Siricoin on an AVR board. And in the future, I will make videos on how to do this with ESP8266 as well as the PC miner and web miner, as well as cover a bit about the Siricoin block explorer. With that said, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the description box below. And I'll see you on the next Siricoin video.